do that. They want to see him operate this offense entirely, not just make great throws with that strong arm of his. A short kick. Taken out over to the 33-yard line, and that is where the Bulldogs Ready will have to have success as the play's called from the sideline. Nick Chubb in a tailback on his first down. Hand off left side. And as Kirby Smart was going home from the game on. Any false positives. It can be fool's goal. A little shovel pass underneath goes to Isaiah McKenzie, the electrifying receiver. On first down and 10. Eason will swing it out to Sony Michelle. His first action of 2016 catches the swing pass and gets it. Knowing the competition that they'll be facing here coming up in their conference schedule. We'll fake it to Chuck. Going up top, far side. Passes caught inside the 10 yard line. Great grab by Terry Godwin. Winning that catch. Directed it to Chubb. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Six yards. He wanted those guys to get touches, and everybody got to participate on a scoring drive. William Hamm with the point after in Georgia. Between the tackles, which he prefers, he is very effective running outside. And they've got the lineman to execute. That'll come out to the 25-yard line. So, Nichols will start with the freshman quarterback, Chase Forcade. Some late offers from some Power 5 schools like Maryland, but stuck with his early commitment here at Nichols. No hand it off inside, a gain of one. Comes from a football family, loves to prepare. On third down, will throw, lofts it up, looking for his guy to make a play. Instead, the Bulldogs make a play. They'll be picked off. At the Bulldogs 46 yard line, Jawan Briscoe with the intercept. Still spotted at the 46. Give it to Chubb, trying to kick it to the outside, and he is swarmed by a bunch of white jerseys. That'll be a lot. So Harriet in at running back now for Georgia, but the dogs will go to the air. That pass is incomplete. That'll bring up a third down and 15. Look at this on a third down. Eason slings it near side. A little bit of contact, no flag. Looking for Reggie Davis. Of the offense that he needs to iron out. Josh Singleton back to return. This punt takes it around the five-yard line, and out to the 20, and a flag comes in. 50-yard punt from Marshall. So Nichols will be back. That's what you look like right before kickoff for the go on the air, isn't it? <laughs> Nichols backed up just outside the five-yard line on their second possession. Oh, sweet. Looked like there was a hole there, but it closed rather quickly. Not much happened. Four-man front. Timeout. Actually, a flag on the far side. Third down. Nichols looked like they were trying to receive on a third and long. Inside handoff. Not a whole lot of room. Out near the 10-yard line. Tyler St. Germain will punt it away for Nichols. Isaiah McKenzie back to return it, but he waves everybody off. A short kick. That will go out of bounds. <laughs> he was uh, certainly dedicated to the process, to say the least, as he gets that handoff down Georgia here. Georgia Dome. Right. Right. Chubb kicks it to the outside, uses that right arm. And he'll have the first down inside the 25-yard line. Big Boo goes in motion. They'll go handoff to Harrion. Straight up the middle. A couple of yards. Work. He needed to. Flag comes in right in the middle of that line of scrimmage. And Eason is tackled. He was just hanging on for dear life. Holding offense, number 55. 10-yard penalty. Remains second down. A difference maker for 
Near shot, pass, drop. Chick Boo had his hand. Not only in the blocking, but also his receivers. Decent. They try to tuck it and run. Nowhere to go. Kenny Dotson of Trent Fricks. Has a broken toe, so they're going to go with Glenn Welch as their snapper today. William Hamm will attempt a field goal from 52. And see Vandy at four. And Eastern Michigan and Missouri at 7.30. Passing. Gets his first start in his first collegiate game. Inside handoff. Dontrell Taylor, the true freshman at a White Castle, Louisiana. That program in a short period of time. Flag down the near side. Looks like some movement. Ball start. Offense. Number three. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Four K. Some running room, and we'll move it into Georgia territory at the 48-yard line. He'll pick up. Over the middle. Pass deflected and caught. Inside the 40. 4K. Coming near side. High throw. Colonel still with some life here. Georgia territory inside the 40 on second down. They go inside handoff again. Taylor. Taylor was one of the best pass defenses in the country. Timeout taken by the Colonels. And we'll take the time out as well with 116. For K. Makes one defender miss. Gets back to the original. End over end kick. That will be caught at the four yard line. A 33 yard punt. Darrell Adams makes the special. An important week for Sony Michelle. Here's Chubb. Not a whole lot of room to run against that front four. Uh, are we sure that wasn't a carbon fiber mold of a tree trunk? Yeah, no, I know. That was the guy's forearm. Tied in set as we begin play here in the second quarter at Sanford Stadium on a hot afternoon. And a big hit. Nowhere for Chubb to go. White was the first one there. A loss of two yards. Now it's third down and ten. Out of the end zone. Eason will throw over the middle. Pass is caught at the 30. Out to the 34-yard line. Cheer. Goes to nephew of Scott Warner. That handoff. Split out away from the line of scrimmage. Put on some weight here to be at more of a tight end. Marion hit in the middle of that line of scrimmage. Douglas in the game on third down and four. Pressure comes. They'll go near side. Godwin with the reception. Stays on his feet, and he'll get into Nichols territory and picks up 11 and a first down in the process. Here's Sony Michelle. He was tripped up at the 48-yard line. The eye formation on second down and nine. Herring with a good catch. He's to the 30, down to the 25-yard line. What love about him as a ball carrier. 23-yard gain makes it first down and 10 to the 25. Big collision right at the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. Coming here to be intimidated. We've seen the defense step up, offense even stays in the drive. Decent to throw, slings it wide side of the field. Pass is caught by Chigbu. Yards. Godwin out of that wild dog formation will be tripped up inside the 10. Play of this drive coming up. Decent back in the game at quarterback. Here's Chuck. He's to the five. He'll be about a yard shy to the left of the line of scrimmage. He lets blocks develop, and he can see those backdoor runs. 
Timeout. Nichols, their second. We'll take the timeout. Well. He has been slow today. Eight carries, just 17 yards. He does have a touchdown. Trying to add another one here as Georgia is knocking on the door, but the front of this Nichols defense has been with the big play. William Ham from 24 yards out hammers that through. Young man who took a year off from football came back. This, they can play some ball now. That'll come out to the 25-yard line. Get overconfident so easily down there in College Station. Here goes Taylor, the true freshman, trying to get the edge. He'll cut it back and get it to the 30, give him five yards. Plucked as many as he can from the state of Louisiana. That's been his mission. Inside handoff goes to Taylor. Not much there. Opalabi, the running back in alongside 4K, who goes up top. That one is picked off. Dom Sanders with his 10th career interception. First down and 10 after the interception. Boy, McKenzie swallowed up, nowhere to go. Over the course of the year. And Chubb in the game to the left of Eason. Speaking of Godwin, he makes the catch. But another nice defense. Turn on a turnover. Georgia two out of five on third downs. Here comes a corner blitz. Eason hit as he throws. Incomplete. Jeff Hall Especially came from. Get home. That was a dangerous shot that Jacob Eason took. Marshall Long will punt it away. Singleton, fair catch, hit immediately. And some flags come in late, right at the 20-yard line. 41-yard. Far too close. There are two fouls on the play. Illegal formation, offense. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. That penalty is declined. On the kick, kick catch interference, number 31. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Good to see Tony alongside Peter, but uh, so far, Tony, he's done a lot of things except score a lot of points. It's only 10 on the board. Here we're just under five minutes to go before half. Other than that, it hadn't been real pretty offensively. 4K coming near side. Wide open receiver off his fingertips. He had C.J. Bates. That would have been six. Third down and six for Kate near side. Pass is caught right at the first down line. Bates, they'll give him six. Well, CJ Bates is one of their competitors. Tim Rebo loves him. Illegal formation, offense, number 71. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. Opalabi stutter steps his way for 10. He'll be about a... Has done an excellent job of getting the ball back to its offense. St. Germain's punt taken by McKenzie. No return inside the 20 of 41 oh, yard points. First down and 10 for the Georgia Bulldogs. They'll swing it out. The Chubb, he is chased down. Lost the football and the Colonels have it. Boy, this is crazy. The ninth ranked team in the country struggling here in the opening half against Nichols. Here goes 4K looking near side pass is caught. They're going to say incomplete out of bounds. Jean Pierre made the catch on their last drive, just couldn't connect. See what they do here on second down and 10. Trying to set up a screen and it's dropped. All the way in. Colonels one out of six on third downs today. 4K will try to run for it. He's got some room. Runs into his own man. He'll have the first down. And then some inside the 4K, the former Ole Miss quarterback. Opalabi will take it inside the 10, down to about the 7. Second down and 5. Taylor cuts it back. Taylor to the end zone. Does he get in? Yes, he does. Nichols puts six on the board. 
despite the two turnovers of their own, able to make Georgia pay for their fumble. There. Here's Reggie Davis. He's out to the 25-yard line with 40 seconds to go. Well, you'd love to be in that other locker room. You know the Colonel's got to be thrilled with how this first half has gone. Four-man rush. Easy goes underneath to Douglas. He'll get it to the 40 and flipped up. Nine seconds to play. Easy lofts it up. Looking for Godwin. Incomplete. Clock will stop with 20 seconds. The flags are down in the backfield. I think they're going to get Dyshawn Sims again with a hold. Holding. Offense. Number 55. 10-yard penalty. Remains first down. Ronald Olley, 72. Clapping his the football away. Douglas take that inside handoff. And I'll be honest with you, this front of Nichols has stood up very tall against Georgia. They have not backed up or backed down at all today in the first half. Other than a toss run and a nice bounce run by Nick Chubb, there really hasn't been a ton of running room. <laughs> Offensive front. Here's Eason. That is incomplete. He was looking for Charlie Warner. Marion in the game and running back. He'll get this handoff off the right side. He gets walloped at the 42-yard line, and Georgia will just head to the locker room. And, folks, if you saw this coming, I'd like to meet you. <laughs> you must have known something the rest of us did. The ground game is not going to go anywhere if you don't take care of the guys in the box. Nichols will receive the football to start the second half. They won the opening kick, uh, opening toss, and deferred to the second half. Moments ago, first down and 10. The true freshman for Cade will hand it off. Not much doing there. Draws. Another handoff off guard. Obelabi. Can get the curls off the field here. Third down and about six. That pass is batted down. Four country coming out of high school. Tyler St. Germain to punt it away. Dogs force a three and out. Here is McKenzie, a return. They call him a specialist. I'm going to call him an artist. He has done this before. Down to the 15-yard line, tripped up by the punch. Chubb behind Eason. Chubb will cut it back. He'll get it inside the 10, down to the 9-yard line. Okay, it's a chance in the red zone to right that ship. Eason comes near side. That pass is dropped. Christian Payne. Georgia 2 of 7 on third downs. Over the middle, that one is dropped. Chick Boo, the second. William Ham from 26 yards out. He converts. But another frustrating play next week on the road at Missouri. Rodrigo Blankenship will kick it away for the Dogs. And let's go back to that last play. going to have time on a full side protection. A little tall sweep coming near side. Georgia streams it out well. Not a whole lot happening. Give, give him three and a half. Inside handoff. Really got into the offense, coming back to the bench after that drive. Well, kind of a frustrating, really after that opening series, kind of a frustrating offensive day for Georgia. First set of downs. Pass is caught. That's the first pass the Colonels have completed since 3.30 to go. 4K. Over the middle. That pass is caught into Georgia territory. Roger. Oh, what a collision in the backfield. A loss of two. Taylor smothered by Trent of no to avoid the block. Boy, Georgia, all kinds of trouble getting in substitutions. Kirby Smart wanted the referee to stand over the ball. Wanted to look like 
he thought Nichols had a substitution, so he was going to have an opportunity to he sub. For his brother Taylor. It's all about Taylor. That's why he's out here doing what he does today. They are a tremendous football family. That pass is complete for inside. The he ran for over 1,000 yards as a quarterback back in 2013 with Figaro. Set the school record in that department. Only a yard, no gain on third down. The quarterback keeper gets a little help. Does he have enough? It's going to be extremely close. I think the pile pushes him across by about a yard when it's all set. Out of that pistol formation. 4K lost it up near side. Catch is made at the 21 yard line. That one goes to Rodgers again. That's a back shoulder. 11th play of this drive. 4K throws it to the wide side. Inside the 10, down to the 5. They're going to spot him out at the 2-yard line. Rodgers dove for the pile on, but they're going to say his foot was out of bounds at the 2. Well, I mean, from that angle, it looks to me that he's able to break the plane. That looks like a yeah, touchdown. Absolutely. I did not see him step out of bounds. Nice. After review, the ruling on the field is reversed. The runner was able to stay in bounds. Touchdown. I'm, I'm almost the turn and get stuffed again with the scoring opportunity. And that ball barely got through the uprights. Nichols did play Arkansas back in 2014 and dumped pretty good in that one, 73 to 7. Short kick taken by Reggie Davis. The way the ground game's going, I don't know that you could afford to eliminate what they think is a stronger passing attack. Sony Michelle popped and wrapped up for no gain. Payne, the fullback, chub your tailback. They'll play action. Eason over the middle. This pass is in and out of the hands of Nick Chubb. That time missed the check down to Chubb over the middle. Third down and nine. Here comes a little corner blitz. Dogs pick it up. Here's plenty of running room. McKenzie. He gets a block, and there he goes to the 10. Give him six. William Ham with the point after. He will split the uprights. 16's got some great moves, but he's got some help from one of his wide receiver buddies. Williams, a junior college transfer. Third ranked wide receiver coming out of JC last year. Sometimes you have to assert yourself, though. There's a lot of true freshmen in that huddle. New QB in for Nichols. They'll go with the transfer from two. Powell, 6'3", 240. Pressure comes, hit as he throws. They're going to say loose football, and Georgia scores. Lorenzo Carter scoops it up 22 yards. And the Dogs back-to-back -back touchdowns. Aaron Davis forces the fumble. He's going to go for two. Eason on the field. Chubb to his left. Eason going to try to keep it. Use that 6-5 frame to try to sneak his way into the end zone and cannot do it. He looks like a basketball player, but he's got all the athleticism you'd ever want at that outside linebacker position. game against Southern Miss. Powell back in the game at quarterback. Nothing happening there. No game. Opalabi out over the 30 to the 31. John Atkins gets his no. High throw. Great grab on that near side. That was C.J. Bacon. Pass is caught with a knee on the ground for Damian Jean-Pierre. Well Four-man front from the dogs. They'll bring a little bit of pressure on this run. Flag down at the line of scrimmage. Real heavyweight game. There's no foul on the play. Play. 
Play clock down to five. They'll hand it off to the near side. In a bowl type setting, and then to turn around and play a team that's from the FCS ranks. Not always get easy to get your focus. At the same time, you get 12 games. You're guaranteed 12. Play clock under five again. They get the snap off. Dontrell Taylor near midfield. Okay, being on the sideline. A couple of more yards on that handoff. And that's why he didn't get to start today. We thought we'd see 4K to Ann Powell, so uh, not surprising. It was just an awkward time after 4K led him on a touchdown drive to take the lead. That uh, you would make the change right there. So the going forward. Here is McKenzie again. Oh, he was so close. They saw it coming to number 16. Three tight end sets. Hand it off to Chubb. Nick trying to break free. Stays on his feet to the 45 yard line. That's 18. Here's Sony Michelle. He'll cut it back and run right into some traffic. Falls forward for maybe a yard. Repaired. Decent quick throw near side. That pass is caught by Davis inside the 30 down to the 27. That's 15 more yards. Harry and in the game at tailback. In this direction. He's down to the 20 after a seven. Right here. Three tied in set again for Georgia, something they did a ton against North Carolina. And you'll see a lot of that throughout the season for Georgia. Probably their deepest. Little end around. Well played, only a game. He's taken. He's starting to pile up on that body of his. Here's Chubb looking for a little bit of room. Breaks a tackle, gets it inside the 10, down to the seven yard line. He'll lose a couple. Over the middle, and that one is picked off. A flag comes in, though, behind the play. Jeff Hall cuts it back to midfield, still on his feet. Harry and trying to drag him down. Hall inside the 10, down to the 6, but once again, there is a flag back at the 4. Two crossing patterns. Pass interference, offense, number six. Penalty is declined. First wow. Down. A 90-yard return for Jeff Hall. But none bigger than that one. 4K back in the game. Hope a lot of the game-changing talent. He could control the line of scrimmage. Obalabi again stopped short by guess who? Trenton Thompson. He didn't come away with one here in the red zone. 4K to the end zone. Incomplete. Looking for C.J. Bates. The left footer for the near hash. Kick is on the way and it is good. I was, I was <laughs> inhaling it. It was great. I love that place. It is legendary to say the least. Some great musical acts over the years. Matter of fact, I just uh, downloaded some. Music. Lambert will throw. Michelle makes two defenders miss, but can't make the third one. And he'll end up losing how many yards? Seven. Second down and 17. Boy, Chubb close to breaking that one. He'll pick up. A bunch of those yards back. Over the middle. Oh, big collision at the 35 yard line. Marshall Long. High kick takes a favorable Georgia bounce and it'll roll out of bounds at the 15 yard line. 
6 11 to go. Chase 4K, the true freshman. That quarterback. He'll hand it off. Dontrell Taylor, another true freshman. Jump it off underneath. A little bit of running room here to the 30. After the 35 yard line goes Dontrell Taylor. Four man front by the Dogs. Go with Taylor again and maybe a yard. The turnover. Over the middle. A little bit behind Jarrell Rogers. And that's it. that ball and run it for big yards. For a little too hot to handle. Kick, fair catch called for by McKenzie, and he drops the football. Loose, still loose, and Nichols will have it at the 10 yard line of Georgia with 4.19 to go. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Three receivers near side. They'll give it to Taylor. He'll take it close to the five, give him three and a half. To the corner of the end zone, caught. Touchdown, Nichols. C.J. Bates out of Louisville, Mississippi, from six yards away. That's the point. I'm talking about less than a field goal game. 15 led him in receptions with 28, but his first catch of 2016 goes for six and pulls the Colonels to within two with 342 to go. And McKenzie fields it, and it goes out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Very upset. Do you blame him? Lambert back in quarterback. He'll hand it off to Chubb. Picks up four. Now Georgia. Here's Chubb trying to bounce it outside. Stiff arms one guy that hits the deck at the 10. He'll lose a yard. Well, it's great as he's dropped. Snap. Lambert near side. That pass is caught by Chigbu. Finally catches one. Picks up 10 now for the dogs out of the eye formation. They will give it to Mr. Chubb. He hurdles one guy, drives a couple of players with him to the 25-yard line. That's six more yards. There is Ronnie Ollie, who we just profiled. Yards, you would think with Nick Chubb, you got the ultimate clock melt. Call sweep coming near side. Chubb cuts it back, tries to break it, and he has the first down, and that'll do it. 77 yards on the afternoon for Nick Chubb. They'll give it to him one more time. Chubb. Picks up three there. Time now for our Capital One Cup impact performance for that. They're picked 10th in 11 team league in Southland Conference. They better buckle up in the Southland Conference. If, if, what it takes. At Nichols. They had a 23 game losing streak. Snap last year. They won three games a season to go finish strong. And built upon that. And they will fall here. But Georgia, boy, they have a lot of questions to answer as they leave the field here at Sanford Stadium. That's the bad news. The good news is they win. They're 2-0. That's right. Yeah, you want a learning experience? You want to come away with a win and learn from those. You fall would rather learn from a win than a loss. We've seen this already. Mississippi State versus South Alabama.